obviously a terrific night but a historic night because of all the other offensive numbers people do talk about as you pointed out in the open he stole the base last night along yeah. with the three home runs and the seven RBIs it's the first time that's happened for a second baseman his home runs on Statcast last night. Yeah truly impressive and talking to him earlier today you know after hitting those home runs the the steal of third I asked him something about that and I asked him about is it easier to steal third and he kind of was like uh, kind of he's like I didn't steal a lot because Arenado and all the and so he talked about that but it's truly interesting because I was like I got to ask all these base dealers because I only got to steal second that was the only one really but it's interesting how guys do they like stealing third and I've always heard from guys stealing third is easier than stealing from first to go to second. So why do they say that and a lot of them they say they can they can time it up in a way where they're moving towards third and just the way you can read the pitcher. I would always be like ready to have a heart attack that he's going to do the, the spin move and just I'm laid out in the middle there in a pickle. 349 in his career with the bases loaded as they are now two down <laughs> through there for a strike. The interesting thing about story in this situation because Ray is so slider heavy is that his struggles this year have mostly been against the fastball. He started to be a little bit more on time for the fastball which is why you've seen these numbers tick up in the last few games. But he's been an, a terrific hitter on off on on breaking stuff and off speed stuff thus far this year. Got a fastball one and two he does have three lifetime home runs against Robbie Ray in fact came into the ball game eight for twenty seven off and that's almost three hundred. Oh it's good numbers right there. We'll see right here if he goes back to his best pitch of the slider. But he's beating him it, he's late on it. But as a hitter too you're all right with that you're all right being late on that fastball because if his number one pitch is that slider you don't want to be too out in front. Crowd jumping into it here the one two home. Oh just got a piece of it had a pitch to hit too. For him there's there's a half measure of success there right because that's the pitch that he was swinging through uh, behind frankly earlier this year so he was close to on time there but just a little frustrating to miss that one. And what he's doing is he's staying back he's staying back on his backside a little bit longer and staying a little taller whereas before his front hips moving forward he's over striding out and that's where your bat lags and especially a fastball up you're going to be underneath it a lot. One two pitch go as a shot high toward the wall and that ball is gone it's a grand slam. Hey have yourself a month Trevor oh Story. My goodness. Wow. A grand slam. His fourth home run in two days and 11 runs batted in. Well he fouled off those fastballs and finally got that slider up and he capitalized on it. Touch them all Trevor Story and now you're going to make Dave lose his breath with all the stats that are coming tomorrow. <laughs> I loved him getting out of the box there going down like an airplane landing looking up at that thing making sure he got it out and it got out again. You know a lot of people said when he was signed Fenway is perfect for him. No doubt when you see the you see where the home runs have gone over the last two days and that's who he is when he is driving the ball it's going to be from dead center over to the over to the left field foul uh, foul pole and that plays really really well when you have uh, that that's part of the reason why the Red Sox weren't too thrown by the whole course field effect because this is a park that will reward a lot of his strength and that's just a that was just a good line drive that managed to clear uh, the clear the monster he was able to to get enough elevation on it that's a that's a perfect barrel. Yeah and that's an easy home run in every ballpark uh, we'll find out here that sack will tell me I'm an idiot here in about a sec <laughs> saying it's only 24 out of 30 but I, I don't think so Red Sox home run brought to you by Nissan Johnny Gomes up there and that one is going to get away from the catcher Raleigh but he'll collect it and throw him out 
to complete the K. Alex, thank you so much. We will see you again soon. Look forward to it. Story off to the races again. Four nothing Boston. Our great pal Johnny Gomes. <laughs> that baseball he came up with on the rocket into the monster seats by Trevor Story. This Just. is a World Series champion right here. Look at this. <laughs> off the off the forearm. Banks off. Oh, oh, box out. Come down with the rebound, Johnny. That a boy. <laughs> Looking like a pirate. He's <laughs> got a little spit on his lip. I love it. <laughs> there is only one Johnny, Johnny Gomes. Gomes.